Greetings, my name is Jethro Westrod and I'm going to be talking to you about creative documentary filmmaking. This is not so much a talk as it is a call to action. I hope to shake things up a little bit, to challenge you and to encourage you to start thinking of more creative um, and exciting ways to approach documentary filmmaking here in South Africa. We have this idea that documentary films are about facts. They're about the real world. And by that I mean they're films about history, about politics, about famous people that we know or should know. Uh, but documentaries are also about more abstract things. Documentaries can be about myths. They can be about fantasies. They can be about desire. Some documentaries are about heartbreak. And if you had to imagine one of your friends was heartbroken and you went up to them and you said, hey, um, how are you feeling? Are you sad? You're most likely to get the kind of answer that's similar to your question. Yes, I am sad. And I personally, and I take this with however many pinches of salt you want, I personally think that this is one of the main issues in South African documentaries. So often we are obsessed with the reality. We're obsessed with the social issue that we think that it in itself is enough to make a film about. And we so often neglect the creative aspects that come with filmmaking in general that we see in, in, in fiction films. It's almost like when we arrive at the door of the documentary, we take our fiction shoes off and leave them outside and we forget about our role as artists. So this, film, this video is geared towards helping you to revitalize that energy, to bring some of these things that you love from the fiction genre into the documentary world. To help aid this discussion, I'm going to show you a short section from a film that I've made. The film is about a South African football player playing professional football in Lisbon, Portugal. His name was Tabo Tele, and I met him in Lisbon last year. After you know getting to know him, we decided that it would be a good idea to make a film together. Um, remember, so much of documentary is a collaboration. You are entering someone's life and that means you've got to take that on with a lot of responsibility and a lot of the time you're collaborating. What I realized by spending time with Tabo in a foreign country was that there was a lot more pressure on him as a South African football player than everyone else, all of his teammates. Uh, he speaks Portuguese fluently, he's been playing there for four years. But what I realized is that there's something more that I needed to try and to get at, to access. And this needed to be shown in the film. So I'll show you a clip and then we can talk about it afterwards. So if we summarize this film on its most basic level, it is a film about a young soccer player from South Africa playing in Portugal. But there was more to the story that I began to realize by spending time researching and talking with my character. These are really important aspects to documentaries. Sometimes we rush in there with our cameras and we start rolling immediately. And I am very guilty of this. Um, I feel like I don't want to miss something or this could be great. But what ends up happening is you start to lose track of what you want to say with your film. We start to get sort of 
uh, caught up with what is happening around us and kind of infatuated with things that, you know, when it comes to editing, aren't going to help tell your story. I was filming far too much boy cheese playing football and forgetting what the goal of the film was about. There was a lot more pressure riding on, on Tabo's shoulders uh, compared to his teammates. And a lot of that is because he's come from Kwamashu in Durban. And the fact that he's playing professionally overseas is a huge, it's a huge thing. And that had to be addressed in the film. It had to be encapsulated in a way that an international audience could understand very quickly. So on the one hand, I could have put the camera there and said to Tabo, okay, tell me, when did you start playing? Why? Uh, what was it like? What was it like for you to come over to Europe? Uh, but w what that does, or what at least I thought it did for that film, was create a, a distance between the audience and the subject. The subject was far more emotional than that, and that had to be tapped into. Tabo spoke about playing overseas as this dream. He said from a really young age, he was always like dreaming about playing overseas. So of course, instead of asking him to say that in the film, we had to reconstruct this dream. We had to recreate it. Now, this is not reality, right? This is a complete fantasy. Yet, this is what makes documentary so interesting. When you start to use more of a creative way to access these real emotions, these real feelings. And that can only be done through the visual language uh, of cinema. Let's call it the cinematic language, right? Through sound, through color, through light, through, through script. And this is something that I want to show you how we did. The goal of this dream sequence was to give audiences an idea of what Tabo might have felt like during this process. Of course, this is all speculative. It's not real in any way. The, the kids playing on the street were kids from the neighborhood. The team that was playing on the field was a team that Tabo used to play for. None of these people actually are part of Tabo's reality in the sense that they're not his story, but they represent something that I wanted to convey in the film. And that was his feelings growing up. He was dreaming of playing in Portugal and it started on the road outside of his house. And then he graduated to the next level to play for Induna, a team in Kwamashu, which I then went to and I met the coach and we, 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 we spoke and I got an idea of what it would have been like and then filmed a game there. And then in the film, we have a voiceover by an imaginary commentator. The goal of this was to sort of like construct this fantasy scenario that uh, Tabo was spotted from a young age by this commentator in this game and uh, he, he was destined for greatness. Of course, none of this is real. But when I've met Tabo, he is playing at top level professional football. So if we work backwards, there's no harm in improvising this situation as this potential dream that Tabo has then realized. Goal! The crowd of the lady, Benten, Tabo Tren, Wingos in the fan, Wingos in the lady, Wingos, Gishiro Ladikali, Kemas in the fan, we are good, we are good, we are Okay, so there are four things I want you to think about when approaching your next documentary film, which I hope is very, very soon. The first is, what are you filming? The, the second is, how are you filming this film? How are you going to approach filming this subject? The third is, what is being said in your film? What are your subjects saying? What are your characters saying? And then lastly, the, the fourth thing is, what is your film saying? When you start thinking about it from this point of view, you, you realize very quickly that it's more than just pointing the camera and pressing record. It is an entire creative process with a, a research phase, a scripting phase, a shooting phase, a post-production phase, and so forth, a lot like fiction. And if we approach this with the same mentality, we'll find that we will be able to construct far more interesting ways of accessing these stories. We should be trying to push ourselves creatively here. Otherwise, if we just switch on a camera and press record and point it at something, we're just security cameras with legs. We need to start acting like artists and I'm sorry this is sounding like a weird pep talk, but 
we need to start really thinking of new and interesting ways to tell South African stories. I'm going to leave a list of some films that I think are really worth checking out. Pause the video and have a quick look at them because it's going to flash by really quick. And try and you can try find these films online. Alternatively, send me an email and I will send it to you. <laughs>